Welcome back to The Sacred Life. I'm Shan Vanderleek, and today I'm sharing with you the goddess card that I drew for August. And Hathor is back again. I pulled the Hathor card in June, and she is back imploring us to learn how to receive. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and your ability to give to others. Hathor's message is that we all have a maternal side to us that naturally cares for those in need, yet it's really important that we balance this with receptivity or receiving is the essence of feminine energy, and it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude. If you feel guilty when asking others for help, or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is actually just as natural as nurturing and giving your energy away to those that you love. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. And when you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day, whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one. Simply say thank you for each gift and each miracle and know that they are filling up your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong. Various meanings of this card include being still and listening, practicing releasing guilt about receiving, asking for help, an increase in psychic awareness, knowing that you're in a learning cycle or that healing is occurring. This is an invitation to be more in your feminine energy. It also could mean conception, pregnancy, or birth, including adoption or favorable custody arrangements if those are issues in your life. Hathor is a beloved Egyptian goddess, and she's represented by the head of a cow to symbolize the sacred animal's life-giving milk and mothering. Hathor is a benevolent sky and sun goddess who helps with all aspects of child conception, birthing, and raising. Call upon Hathor to guide you as you practice nurturing yourself and putting yourself at the front of the line. This really is the time to open yourself up to receiving the gifts that life has to offer you. It can be as simple as just paying attention to the great and beautiful miracles that we receive every single day. Stand in the sunshine. Receive the warmth. Take a nice walk on the beach or in the forest and let yourself be nurtured and receive all that nature has to offer. Receiving isn't easy for everyone. It does take practice, and I invite you to practice as much as you can. This reception will help you increase your intuition, your energy, and your ability to give more to those you love. Thanks for listening to The Sacred Life. If you'd like your own goddess card, you can visit transformationgoddess.com slash blog, and I will draw a card for you for a small energy donation. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next month on This Sacred Life.